guys welcome back to Printer's kitchen today we are going to share our recipe with you on how to preserve tomatoes preventing them from going bad so when you buy a lot of tomatoes there's a high risk of the you have a very high chance of it getting bad or rotten so we yeah, want to share this this recipe with you to prevent it, your tomato from getting bad please make sure you share like comment and subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you'll be one of the first people to hear from us when we upload a new video thank you so I just needed uh, some tomatoes, some salt, any season, any seasoning of your choice, some peppers and some bell peppers, anything. So we are going to cut uh, bell peppers into, we are going to chop our bell peppers and we are going to cut our tomatoes into quarters. Now we are... Now we are going to blend. Now we are going to blend our uh, our salt, peppers, peppers, our salt, peppers, bell peppers, and tomatoes together. We are going to also add some water. So now in our blender, our uh, diced our uh, tomatoes that have been cut into quarters are uh, going in. Firstly, followed by our uh, bell peppers, two peppers, and some salt. We are going also going to add a cup of water. Or oh, as per Now we are going to cover it and blend it. So I have blended my tomato mixture. Now I'm going to start the uh, tomato process. So now I'm going to turn up my heat to low and just start mixing it. So we are going to make put we are putting this we are doing this for it to simmer. We want we are making this simmer on the fire. So you know that your tomato puree is almost ready when you see bubbles coming some sort of bubbles coming up so the simmer this simmering process is to remove the moisture from our tomatoes and also reduce them you're also going to take out the sort of sour taste in, inside the tomatoes and make them better for use like you can use this um recipe for like for your jollof your stew anything anything that involves tomatoes there's that is going to make your cooking very quick and very efficient it's going to make your tomatoes <laughs> very your tomato stew anything they are going to do with tomatoes it's going to make them everlasting okay so it's going to take about roughly about 15 to 10 20 minutes so just make sure 
it doesn't burn if it burns you can add some more water it's but fine. if if it burn if if it burns and you you see that no like your sauce is not really cooked well that's when you should add the water but if it's burnt and you can and you taste and your sauce is really cooked well no need to add the water your sauce is ready so after about five to seven minutes you can see our tomato sauce has started to boil and the bubbles are starting to appear you can see this type of foamy action to the that shows you that you're on the right track and to show you that uh tomatoes have actually reduced this rim is there to guide you this shows that you're on a really right track so leave this for some more time and you're going to love it so guys my sauce is beginning to bubble up you can see the vapor coming out and it's reducing to this recipe is perfect for your jollof if you are someone who doesn't like really light jollof you like you really want the color to come it had the red color in here it's, it, it's just heaven please make sure you try this recipe okay so guys i also added some bacon soda which will reduce the sour taste and the sour taste of the tomatoes and economize it it's going to bring that out that red color you always you've always wanted but it's totally optional you don't really need to add it but i decided to add it because i love it okay everyone ah uh, tomato puree or sauce is ready imagine using this to make imagine using this to make your jello imagine the color guys is ready look at the color the color is just so amazing Hello, my family. Uh, tomato paste or a uh, tomato puree or sauce is it is ready. You can use it for your jollof rice in your stews and everything. So please make sure you go and check out our other video on how to make tart, also known as rug band. Make sure you try this recipe out yourself and make sure you like comment subscribe and to our youtube page and turn on that little notification on and also share to your friends this is been to us kitchen thank you bye